What's going on, guys? Welcome to another standard stream. Uh, we have today we're taking a look at this blue white auras deck. Uh, it's basically standard boggles, or it's like the blue white auras deck that was in like Theros block, where you had all the uh, the heroic creatures. Except now we have like I, I actually went to sort this by converted mana cost because it looked it looked like it wasn't, and I'm like, oh, it is. This is all just ones. This is all just twos. Okay. So we have four SRAMs. Uh, legendary, so not ideal, but also at the same time, you you just want one because all of your equipment is uh, going to trigger him. <coughs> Does he... Is this... Is this an, you know, this is, see, just like Oblivion Rings, despite this going on, quote-unquote, going on a creature, it's not an aura, so it doesn't actually trigger this guy. So we're basically just looking at cartouches... And that's it. I guess just these 12. But then we have Adanto Vanguard, Adorned Pouncer, and uh, Snubhorns and Sky Marcher Aspirants as our, as our threats. We also have some Sacred Cats and some Legions Landings, which is fine. Um, there was a version of this deck. There was two versions, apparently. One, um, one was uh, one that did well at the SCG event. And that list actually had one Trial of Solidarity, which I kind of like a lot with eight cartouches in the deck. And 21 creatures. And also 22, 23, 24 creatures with Legion's Lightning. Um, I don't know why they didn't just keep that in there, but this is the more recent version. It went 5-0 in a league, so we're going to try this one out and see how it does. And, uh, yeah. I, I expect a swift 2-3 uh, or 1-4. So we're gonna see how see how that goes. What wait, what's going on? No, not a queue. We'll do a league. I am gonna <clears throat> I am gonna do a friendly league though because the, the payout is better. And um I just if I go if you know I'm playing an untested deck, so I have no no intention of going four four one or five oh. Uh because I've literally never played this deck, so keep that in mind in the YouTube comments when you guys are going ham on me. Uh I've never played this deck before, so So we shall see. I did also see a Boros list with Path of Metal in it. And I was actually surprised. Because that card seems like hot garbage when you first look at it. And I didn't think much of it when I saw it. Um, when I did my set review, which you can check out on YouTube. But... Apparently, it's good enough to see play in a deck, so that's a thing. Yeah, you want to go ham early, uh, because the, the, the earlier you go ham, the more ham you can go, I think. So it's kind of important. Is this any good? Turn 2 Vanguard into turn 3 Obsession with Double Sheltering Light? That seems okay. I don't hate it. Tashana Bant is where it's at. Is that right? Is that right, Sarah? It feels like that might be... Hmm. <clears throat> so we can actually go Vanguard into... <clears throat> Oh, excuse me. Into Curious Obsession, into Cartouche, and keep up one Sheltering Light still, which is pretty reasonable. Oh. Oh, yeah? Really? You're going to show up on turn two? That's cool. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Well, thankfully, I don't target any of your things. So, are you coming in for two? Is it another merfolk? No, this guy can just get himself big. All right. This is a weird... This art is weird. <laughs> this art is also real Aztec. Aztec af, if you will. You played six times in, my le in two leagues yesterday? Wow, that's pretty insane. Or your last two leagues, rather, not just yesterday. That's pretty ridiculous. <clears throat> I don't think my color crime away. 
All right, so. Hmm. If you guys have an actual list for this uh, Bant, Bant to Shauna list, just send it to me because that sounds cool. I thought Sarah was just trolling because that's kind of what she does. All right, let's get in there and see what happens. <clears throat> Oh, apparently there's something in here. I don't see any Tushanas in this list, though. The problem with Sheltering Light in this matchup is... Um, I don't foresee them having any way to destroy our creatures. I do see them having ways to bounce them, perhaps. I don't know what the removal is in this deck. In this merfolk deck. I'm going to see what I can find out, though. I'm going to look right now. Deep root. Alright, let's find out. <clears throat> um, No, that's not it. Deep root. Elite. Alright. Is there any unsummon is, is frustrating, I guess. So I guess we'll just play a dude. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So next turn, if we hit a land, we can definitely get the city's blessing, which is nice, but Boots it ahead. What's going on, buddy? Long time no see as well. Um I have not seen many brews that have caught my eye, unfortunately. A lot of them look very, very I don't know. They're all scarab god decks and uh and Jade Light. <clears throat> like, your deck either has one of three things, right? It has Jade Light Ranger, Rekindling Phoenix, or or Scarab God. It, it, those are the three decks, right? Also, what's going on, Alan? Good seeing you. Alan, happy birthday again, buddy. I'm just going to keep wishing you happy birthday for as long as I can. It's a lot of creatures, and I'm not really super comfortable about it. This guy's not really going to do much, I don't think, so I think I'm just going to block. I kind of don't want that. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, <clears throat> oh, good. A card I... Huh. That's a thing, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need three things now. Seems good. I'll eat that guy. Well, we do need lands. I wonder if we just play Vanguard and shel keep up Sheltering Light? Double Deep Root Elite is a little scary. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Slay the Spire, huh? Interesting. I'll check it out. Hmm. I literally just got an email that says, uh, Rivals of Ixalan Feedback Survey, which is kind of comical if you've seen any of the past drafts. Um, I'm pretty sure it's an arena thing, but... Yeah. I don't know what to do here. I'm really not sure what our next turn is going to look like. <clears throat> I think we just want Aspirant. We have enough life here. I wish this guy had lifelink, but... Static Suicide, 28 months. Oh my god. Happy 28-month anniversary. 
I got a 28 month and a 24 month anniversary up in this stream right now. My God. And an eight, even Game Krang. The last, the last sub last night was Game Krang. At uh, eight months, so eight, twenty-eight, and twenty-four. <clears throat> Beware! Here, the RB Mo Merv. That's true. They're they're the RB Merfolk. That is not incorrect. Alan, how old are you? Twenty. I want to say twenty-four. That's going to be my guess. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, actually. Without you, I'd just be a hobo. <clears throat> oh, that's pretty unfortunate. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, God. Why are you the way that you are? Oh, 26. All right, cool. Well, that is unfortunate. I'm surprised at how, how badly this Copala is for us. Shodkala, Bala, in the in the 2018 Copala. Okay, well, these are all things that are... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can play one thing here to give us the city's blessing. They're at 12. I wish I had lifelink here. Look at the city's blessing in standard. Wow. It works fine in limited, but apparently in standard it looks like hot garbage. Okay. Four, five, six. I mean, we're basically dead if they have another <clears throat> Tempest Caller, right? Man, you guys think, uh... <clears throat> oh my god, what is this MTGO bot linking to? <laughs> oh god, I love Dan. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, well. We could have actually forced a block here if we attacked with this guy. But... I mean, they still wouldn't die. I'm pretty sure we just play Legion's Landing. I don't, like... Keeping this up does nothing against this deck. I wouldn't even take out the sheltering lights, so. If they have this, we're dead. If they don't, I think we're in good shape. I think the deck only runs two. Well, we had a good time. Let's take out the sheltering lights. Why you pants? Thank you so much, man. Why you why you paints? Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Sorry about crushing you, but uh, hey, had to be one of us, right? I guess we're going to add in... I like Squire's Devotion a lot, but if they're bouncing things, I don't. I think it's just like, like a slash of challenge. <clears throat> oh my god. Like... Do they ever not have it? <clears throat> That's my question. Don't you turn to dust if you rise before 6pm. Um. Yeah, I can't really talk about that. I guess this is fine. I don't think we care about negates. The only thing I'd consider is like the baffling ends, which might be better. Actually, I think baffling ends probably better. <clears throat> yeah, whatever. You could play Condescend and Remand to, you know, counter things. Luke, why are you the way that you are? I will play first. 
This hand's actually great. <clears throat> you can go Sky Marcher into Curious into like either Cat or Cartouche. Ooh, no one drop? Here we go. Here we go. Now we're talking. Next turn we go equip, draw a card. Attack, draw a card. Cartouche, draw a card. Am I ill? <clears throat> I think I'm good. Do I sound ill? I hope not. Oh, you're going to do something. Oh, I see. Wonderful, wonderful. I mean, that's literally better than them bouncing this, but then we put, like, two things on it, so. I'm okay with this. Oh, you got a little branchy. Oh, look, another Saram and not, a, not another land. That's good. That's nice. First strike is pretty good, so. Yes. Oh, another not land card. That's nice. Land would have been great there. We can play another guy. That's that's how lands work in creatures. But uh, I sound like I'm coming down with a cold. <clears throat> I'm. I don't feel sick at all, guys. Just uh just to just to be clear. Oh look it's that guy. Followed by one drop? Of course. <laughs> yes, sir. I feel like we're playing the same deck, just like slightly different. Like I rely on spells that draw me cards to do the things that his merfolks are doing. And uh it's kind of even, I think. He has bounce spells and tapping things, which is really effective against me. I have, like, Baffling End. Is that what it's called? That is a big nerd. Land. No? You don't want to give me land? Is this where you want to be? <clears throat> how you want to be? Is this how you want to be? I don't have any lifelink here. I really just want to... Can I just get a cartouche of black, a black cartouche? For the lifelink, one, two, three, four, five, six. I just want to hit a land so I can play Saram into another thing. Jade Bear is 100% going in front of this, sure. Well, that'll do, I guess. All right. Cartouche of Black. That's its name, right? <clears throat> All right, well, that makes a free dude. It's whenever you cast. It's whenever one of our Merfolk's on your battlefield. Oh, my God. So you're going to get two counters? Come on. What in the in the world? Pretty sure we're just jumping here. I don't really feel like taking seven. You got 2-2 two, two and a 1-1, one, one, huh? Hey, we hit a land. Look at that. Good times, good times. So, do we just put a cartouche on this bad boy and play a cat? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 if they have a Tempest thing. 
There is the lifelink one on the board, but it costs three, which is like the most expensive card in our deck. I mean, the cartouche costs three too, but I was only mostly just joking. Really, four, five, six, seven. We can go Cat Sky Marcher Cartouche, which actually has the same effect as. Well, actually, this is going to make two, so. We're almost. We can actually just. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can actually just play other Sky Marcher to get. Um, yeah, there we go. I'd rather do that. So close to dead, like we can actually put uh, Cartouche on this guy and attack for eight this turn, uh, put them to four, but it doesn't do much outside of just, if we're not killing them, like we can just do that next turn, so. I feel like we're in good shape here, but we're not dead if they play Tempest Caller. It'd be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten with the counter. Another unsummon's pretty brutal. I feel <laughs> what's the Dave Thomas Rick Moranis reference? Why is is there a Canadian vibe here? Is it because I keep saying cartouche? Okay, Branch Walker is not super exciting, which is good. Island is not super exciting, which is good. If they don't have the Unsummon, we might be fine. The combo is Sram and Auras. That is correct. That is the combo. Yeah, look, the City's Blessing is fine now. Amazing. Okay, I think we just won. We give this dude float, and then we just kill. I'm in. I'm in it to win it. In it to lay win it. We also have a 2-1 two, two flyer over here, so... <clears throat> this is 6 in the air. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. Hmm. Closers with the sub. Thank you so much, man. Welcome back. Uh, I am going to block with this gentleman. Yeah, this is very reminiscent of the old blue-white heroic deck. <clears throat> we could have also just taken it because it's pretty academic here. They don't have any untapped mana. There's no free spells in standard. Uh, put a cartouche on. This guy, is there any problem? This guy's not going to die if I put a cartouche on him or something, right? And do the thing. Oh, Merfolk Mistbinder. All right, good to know. Maybe we do put... See, I would like this. This makes a 1-1, one, one, which is actually quite fine. Um, Baffling End is good, though, because it gets rid of guys that are, like, too big. Snubhorn's not terrible because it blocks their guys, I think. I want to take one Legion's Landing out for one Squire's Devotion. I'll take out a Snubhorn for a Devotion, too. That seems okay. I'm going to actually take one Baff... Oh, no, nope, too late. I was going to take one Baffling End out for one Slash, because maybe that's better. I don't know. Well, this hand is pretty bad. The problem with this hand is we don't have any way to refill it. Like... 
We can play this, then play this, and then we can put a cartouche on it, and we can start attacking for three. But we don't have any natural way to play any of their cards in our hand. Like, like if it was a curious obsession, is that what it's called? Um, we'd be able to draw cards. If it was a... If, I don't know. This hand seems pretty rough. This hand seems just as rough, but it has... I mean, we're not going to five in a 20 land deck, and also I don't feel like... I, I think this is better than having a, a dune in hand, so... Yeah, like flipping flipping landing is good, but like we'd be so far behind, I feel, at that point, so... I don't feel like we're going to win this match. This is not a, uh, a hand that wins against Merfolk, I don't think, which is unfortunate. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> it's a good start. I mean, I guess we could ride this Sacred Cat to victory. Here comes the island. There it is, yep. I don't actually know what it's like to get both your colors. I feel like we've been struggling on blue mana. Which is interesting. We have four islands. I don't think we've seen an island once. Definitely not this game. We can't even hold back because they'll just put a counter on this guy in sad days. Missed our second land drop. Yep. <clears throat> and you get to play a Jade Bear. Got to tell you, not thrilled about this situation. <sighs> sure. I doubt they're blocking, but maybe they will because they don't want us to flip this next turn. I probably would. I probably should have played this post-combat, but <clears throat> I really don't think it's going to make a difference, to be quite honest. The value of F6-ing here was uh, stronger to me than the value of letting them play around my flip. But Also, getting a Merfolk off the board is not non-zero, so... Yeah, the lifelink is just to stay alive and win the race. There's no real lifelink theme here. I mean, we are currently winning the race, so that's something. Tempest Caller, attack for 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That'd be good. Nope, just that little nerd. Okay. It does give you more Vanguard activations. That is not wrong. Oh, look, a Crashing Tide. Well, that's miserable against us. Three, six, nine. Yep, we'll go to seven. Sure. Well... Use it or lose it. Hey, look, we got another land. What a time to be alive. Seems good. All right, well, 
Tempest Caller for the win. Yep, as usual. All right. Well, one one loss down. Only two more to go, yep. <laughs> We're working toward that 2-3 status. I, I mean, the deck felt powerful. Like, if they didn't have Tempest Callers when they had them, I think we were fine. Even that last game, like, we just ended up mulliganing to six. Didn't hit a second land literally ever, so what are you going to do? I guess lose. Lose is what you're going to do. I mean, it does see a lot of cards. Like, I feel like the aggressive decks in this format are seeing a lot of cards. But I don't... You don't really see them at the top. Like, it's not a format full of the aggressive decks. Like, there's not, like, Merfolk deck and, and this, like, Aura deck everywhere. Like, a lot of his, like... Like I said, Scarab God decks, Rekindling Phoenix decks, and... Uh, what's the other dude? Uh, Jade Light Ranger. I love that Theros keeps... Keeps auto correcting to theirs in uh, in people's messages. I feel like our opponent didn't even have a uh, Jade Light Ranger in their deck. Wow, this is a lot of waiting for a standard match. I will keep this hand. We can go Sram into Cartouche into Adanto Vanguard. We'll probably play Adanto Vanguard first, then we can go Sram Cartouche. Guarantees he survives. They went to six. Okay. Interesting island. Yeah, I've seen the Jun decks running around with Ranger and Phoenix. I mean, I've pretty much seen everything that's in standard right now. Like, I, I've, I take... Wow. Ooh, here we go. It's going to be one of those days, guys. Now we're just playing Pouncer. Oh, oh good. Your favorite and mine. The double deep root elite. Oh, 100% block that guy. Yeah. Had a feeling. Robert, have a good dinner, buddy. You guys ready for the unsummon? I know I am. Sure. I will not pay two for it because... I don't have two mana. I will attack you, though. I imagine everyone's playing Merfolk because it's a really cheap deck. Like, if you look at it on, uh, like, Goldfish or something, it's 76 tickets. Whereas, like, the, the other standard decks are, like, 400 tickets because of the Rekindling Phoenix, because of Scarab Gods, because of Chandra's. Like, there's no $35 cards in this deck. Deep Roots, Deep Root Elites are $5 in real life. They're a dollar online. Like, Kumina is apparently the most expensive card in the deck, and I don't even think you need her, necessarily. At least I think Kumina is a she. I don't, I don't know. I wish cards would say, like... I wish they would say the gender on the card. That's all. 
Yeah, this is ridiculous. Guess we take six. Seems good. Not for us, of course, but you know. All right, land is, I guess, okay. Oh, do we get to hit twice? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That was good. Okay. Well, no more auras, unfortunately. All of our cans are white, so we're just going to actually... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can't actually get the City's Blessing, but we have to play a one drop and a two drop, so... Kumina's male? Okay. I would not have known that. What up, Third Eye Chion? Uh, Michael it has a job and he works, so. Sure. Kumina? What am I saying? Am I not saying Kumina? Kumena? Kumena. Oh, is what you're saying. Okay, Kumena. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not losing any sleep over that, just to be clear. Yeah, this is a lot of things that are bigger than mine. Yeah, Deeper Elite's probably the most broken card in this deck, right? Like, are we are we clear on that? Somebody touch my spaghetti! Mm-hmm. Okay. I have six power, but it's distributed in two, so I can't actually kill both of these guys. That's unfortunate. One card in hand, and we just have no gas. So they just block here, which is just great for them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess we just attack with this guy. I mean, I don't really feel like I'm trading here. Like this doesn't seem this seems worse than just having a the blocker. So Sure. Oh, we're just dead in the air. We don't actually have a flying blocker. I'm actually terrible at this game. Oh, look, a baffling end. What was bad last game? Oh, the sheltering lights are just terrible. This this deck, I'm getting the impression this deck is just a bad... Um, a bad version of the other deck. A bad version of Merfolk, right? Stumpport and Sentry seems really not good. Ha! <laughs> 
I don't think they're... I think they're anti-Merfolk cards, and they're called, like, Settle the Wreckage or Fumigate. Come on. Sure. I always find a deck and I get real excited about it and I'm like, oh, it's going to be sweet. We're going to play some standard matches. We're going to we're gonna play this cool brew. Uh, it's going to be great. And then we just end up losing to the same stupid degenerate deck that's not even tier one. And uh, it becomes less fun pretty quickly, unfortunately. But I almost just want to play SRAM here, which I think is correct. Or it could just be Sky March or Aspirant next turn. Yeah, I think it's just Aspirant into Farmland. And then we just play both of these next turn. And then we can start Cartouching or whatever. Dive Down seems much better than um, Sheltering Light. I think this is a fine trade if they want to make this. I think if you're spending your turn three playing Solemnity and then they're playing more merfolk I think you're just dead if we hit a land here we can go Saram into Cartouche which is nice Cartouche gives us a card anyway though that's pretty good and then we can draw two cards from the Cartouche or we can, we can get a one drop Cartouche and still draw two cards that's pretty good One, two, three, six. Hey, we did it. That's pretty good. Let's draw some crads. That's not a blue at all. Always yield to that. I have no desire to uh, to not to respond to that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have nine permanents on board. That's real sad. I will 100% give indestructible. Okay. Okay. Baffling and end cartouche in hand is pretty good. I think this is probably the game. If we're going to win a game, this is probably going to be the game we're winning. Uh, sure. That's actually fine as a four drop. Apparently, when our opponent doesn't draw a double deep root elite, uh, we have a better chance of winning. So, you know, good to know. There he is. There he is. Your favorite and mine. Yeah, I made a meme actually, and I never posted it, but this is the this is what I this is my feelings on standard right now. Oh, interesting. Two, three, four, five, six, huh? But then we come back at you for two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think you're dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. You're not dead. Yeah, you're like three away from dead. But taking six here seems fine. Yeah, whatever. That is not your death.
nine. We can get uh, City's Blessing here, which is nice. Nice little perk. It's going to be another land. It's not a land. It's a cartouche. Cartouche is drawing us two cards each is pretty good. So our whole board flies is what you're telling me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We'll put you to two. And we can still have two blockers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm just gonna just baffling end a guy. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Even if you played Guy, Tempest Caller, it's still five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're still not dead. I think it's just Kitty Cat here. Like if they hold this guy back, it doesn't matter. I don't know how they're gonna beat this, but I mean maybe they'll find a way. I don't think I even know what War Kite Marauder is. So hard to say. Alright. As usual, 1-1. One, one. I wonder if the Slash of Talons is just better in this particular matchup because they have um, guys like the 2-1 the Flyer and stuff. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say the one mana at instant speed is better than the two mana. One mana versus two mana in this deck is pretty huge. This might be one of the better hands we've had. Let's see if that matters. If we can get another one drop, we can flip Legion's Landing on two. They went to four? Maybe we do win this game. Jeez. That's brutal. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, I love War... War, War Kite Marauder is great, actually. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Revealing Deep Root Lead, sure. That was a good draw. I have my doubts you're going to block here. Yeah, I didn't think so. Alright. Next turn I'm going to assume you're just going to play Deep Root Elite here. I doubt you also have a 1-1 one, one or else you would have played it. Unless you literally drew that in your last two turns, which you clearly did. Okay. Well, that's nice. We do get to flip Legion's Landing here, which is not nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm pretty sure just playing Island and Adorned Pouncer here to uh, get the city's blessing. One, two, three. If we had Slash here, it'd be great because we can actually Slash this guy before it just eats our 1-1, one, one, but... Our board seems pretty reasonable here, so. Yeah, the Marauder's still end of turn. I don't, yeah, I don't know if you're thinking that it's like forever, but. Isaac Schmidt, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt High Brood. You are awesome. 
I have enough of these that I don't actually care to just trade with a Silvergale Adept. Especially when they have one card in hand. So one, two, three, activate. Just play this, I guess. Uh, our, our lands are in such a way that we want five to bring this guy back. We also want... Uh, we want more just to activate. I mean, this is not necessarily how I want to win the uh, the match with uh, our opponent mulliganing to four, but... I have a feeling they're not going to be able to wipe the board, so we're just going to play everything out. And then next turn we can bring back a Dorned Pouncer if we'd like. I don't think this is going to be the end. Okay, that's good. That's very good. Oh, so you're saying like attack with the, the Marauder make them an 0-1 and then kill it. Yeah, that was also... I think I mentioned that actually in my set review. Because I was like, this is a great way to get around those abilities. Oh, all right. We got it. Sweet. Um, this hand is keepable. I don't think it's great, but we're on the play. We get to play a Sram on turn two, then play a guy and a Curious Obsession on turn three, which is pretty good. Draft streamers say Kitesail Corsair is great, but then they pass the Warkite. Warkite's just strictly better than the other one. I don't know why they would ever do that. I swear to God, if they're just going to play... If they if they play a Merfolk next turn, I will rage, dude. Next turn we can go Sram and Legion's Landing or Sram and Curie. Okay, that's interesting. Now I'm curious. Now you've piqued my... My curiosity here. Oh, Renegade map. That is underwhelming. All right. Uh, Merfolk may not be good in standard, but it might be good against us. It feels like it's great against us. Their removal is bouncing. Like, their guys get bigger than our guys do. Like, I mean, not good in standard is one thing, but... Better than us? That's another thing. So, what we can do is go just put all our eggs in this basket, I guess. Play landing. Attack with a bunch of nerds. Flip landing. And then we can just play something else. Oh, we get to draw another card, too. Yes, please. Do we play land this turn? Ooh, we didn't. That's nice. All right, cool. Just in time for uh, Renegade Map to search out of planes, Prophetic Prism to give you another white, and Fumigate our board.
I see. Well, things are going to get broken. That's not great for us. Why would you do this to us? Okay, so you take three, four, five, six. I'm going to assume you're mono blue and just play this guy out. And play a land too, and then we can activate uh, a Danto. I don't feel like you can go off this turn, but you probably can go off this turn. We're probably dead. Are you ready? You ready to be dead? War of Invention or something busted. I don't know how this deck works. It has been a while since I've seen the uh, the either either Flux Reservoir deck go off, so I'm going to assume we're dead. Okay, they have two cards in hand. One is most certainly a Whir of Invention. And you're gonna get the uh, the card that untaps all your things, I guess. I don't know what that does though. Okay, non artifact spells have improvised. Sure, they have one card. One. <laughs> We're not dead. They're out of mana. Okay. And we didn't make a guy. Does Chef at Dunes do it? I don't know. I want to laugh if, like, uh, if we could have killed them with one Adante, one more token. Yeah, I don't think so. Like even even without even if they just took it 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21. We would have had 22 damage with a token, so not really that big of a deal. I have no idea what's in their hand because I actually didn't see they actually and they drew uh X cards. So, yes, use that ability. All right, well, your move. Sentinel Totem. Amulet. So they also have Renegade Map in hand. So they have five cards, right? Let's say they draw, like, it's going to be... Oh, come on. (laughs) 
let's see how much you can drain my soul. He was so thankful. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fair. Back at 21. Alan, how close are you to a Bojangles? I would go to Bojangles if I were you. Ooh, Bojangles sounds delicious now. Yep. And done. All right. Okay. Again, sheltering light, just terrible. Fragmentize, pretty good. Negate, also pretty good. Take out one landing. Take out the Snubhorn sentries. Those guys don't seem like they're going to be great. Just over a mile? Oh my god. What a time to be alive, Alan. What a time to be alive. Tanos, what's going on, buddy? I actually waited to do the uh, the stipulation for you. Um, spell pierce or negate? Probably negate, right? Two mana is more to keep up, but, you know. <laughs> okay, John Graham Doe, I'm going to post that for you. John Graham Doe says how it feels when your reservoir combo goes off and posts this link. Good times. It's actually hilarious. Man, that time when you feel so close yet so far. You're like, oh, I almost have this game. I can get you to three. Yeah, so I was going to do it last night and then... Uh, well, I wasn't going to do it last night. I was I got on and Thanos wasn't there, so I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. I'll, I will wait till Thanos is around because there's no point in doing his stipulation if he's not actually there. We submitted, right? We're good? All right, just waiting. I will play first. Is this deck good or should I build? If you can afford green red monsters, you probably just build that. I mean, I'm sure the deck is probably better. I will keep this fragmentized hand. I got on last night. We got on around 10. So I wasn't sure if that's too late for you. Hmm, I see. Interesting. Get him. Why did I keep the baffling ends in the deck? I don't know. That's pretty bad. Uh, 10 o'clock Eastern time. I'm on Eastern time, so... I guess we're just going to baffling in this idiot. Yeah, I don't think blowing up the... I didn't feel like blowing up the map um, was great. I actually haven't used Twitter for like two months, to be quite honest with you. Um, because I'd rather just blow up the Aether Flux Reservoir because it doesn't seem like they're going off on one turn. Like if they have to play it next turn and then give us a turn after that, so.
Although we could just kill Map Prism here, and actually that might be fine. I think that puts them far enough back that we can just win next turn. Oh, I do like the baffling end my own guy and then uh, fragmentize. Actually, it doesn't even work like that because you can only target their guys and then, yeah, why? I don't know. Oh, Michael Barbobly Boo. What's going on, buddy? Michael Barbobly Boo, I don't think I saw... Did I tell you the story about how I saw you in Gabby's chat once? Like, there was a Gabby... Gabby put up a, a, a video on YouTube and I was watching. I was just watching her stream or her cube draft, rather. And you were in the chat and I, I about lost it because I was like, oh my God, you created this name because of Mike. And then like, it's literally just your Twitch name now, which is absolutely hilarious to me. So definitely one of the funniest things ever. Three, four, five, six, seven. Get him. Got him. We did it. Uh, I did see your whisper. You said, yes, you're starting a bit late today. I tuned in to see if I can catch you because I haven't. But that was like, wasn't that Wednesday? I only check my whispers um, if they pop up for me because otherwise... Um, they, like, they're just, they, I get a lot of junk as, oh, oh no, baffling ends, no, I made another terrible mistake. Yeah, so I was watching the Gabby stream and I heard her go, oh, hey, Michael, let me, uh, and she was like answering a question you had, I guess. And I was like, Michael, huh? And then I looked at the chat and it was you and I was like, oh my God, that's hilarious. It was like the worlds were colliding, you know? Sand seems bad. <laughs> 13 hour shift. Good lord, my man. Oh, I, I actually try to get yeah, I, I, I leave it I leave it so that you can see Hunter if he's in the background. I think I'm just like I'm just over this hand, I think. Is it good enough? I don't know. You play one dude on turn two. The island's pretty rough. God, do we really want to go to a, a six card hand here? Kind of. This is not better, but we get two looks to find a land. Three looks, we get scry first turn, second turn. So I think this might be better. Mm, not about it yet. I just felt like we want more proactive things to do against this deck. Or, re or even reactive, actually. I think we want to be able to deal with their their things. Really? And I think we're hitting that O2 bracket, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the old the old F6 our turn basically <sighs> good times good times otter from space thank you so much for the sub really appreciate it welcome to the Sultai brood you are awesome land come on really this is how you're gonna be I mean, I guess we get to keep Negate up now for, like, the relevant spells. They only have four cards in hand. What did they hit off of the stupid... Stupid cranes? <laughs> the 
The seven card hand did more than this one, but... I think we need one dude out here right now. I don't think they're killing us next turn, so I guess we'll... Oh, I do like I do like Indian from Grubhub to not put pants on. That sounds like a solid plan. Here comes the old. Okay, that's fine. Here we go. It's gonna be an either. Oh, all right, just another, just another hunk of junk. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, I didn't even watch the video, and I think it was taken down. I could care less about all that. Like, those pe the people don't know me. Like, they just... what? It's whatever. I wish we had more blue mana at this point. Remember that first hand, and we're like, oh, we don't want blue mana at all. And now we're just like, oh, I wish we had two blue mana. That'd be great. Um, hmm... Uh, I have not seen the new iDubs, but it is in my queue, so I'm waiting to watch it. I just want to keep negate up at this point. Like, it's so bad. Hey, Water Sports Drew. I think we're just flipping this and playing Pouncer here. I just feel like I can't give them an extra turn here. They're just going to kill both our, our tiny babies, but that's fine. So now we can play Pouncer. And still keep Negate up. All right. So now we can actually put Cartouche on either either one of these guys, which is great. So either Aether Flux Reservoir or the other guy, we are going to... Uh... Yeah, that's fine. Are we not dead? Can we win this game? Is that a, is that a thing? I hate that all of our hand, our hand is blue spells and like we just don't have a second blue right now so we can't even keep up negate and do a thing that we want to do. Blue. I don't hate that. I don't love it though. I guess we just keep getting in there with Vanguard. Cartouche on Pouncer seems great but I don't, I don't feel comfortable taking down negate when they have... Like they can just win, basically. Mike is probably out touching spaghetti. You know, you know, you know how you do. And like worst case scenario, at the end of the turn, we can make an Adon. We can make a one one. So. Huh. Well, I guess that's negatable. Oh, you're going to just counter back. Oh, I see. Draw eight. Seems good. I mean, what could we do there? How much donation is to sponsor an ASMR spaghetti touching screen stream? That's a good question. Um, it's hard to say. I think allowing rebuke. What does that do, though? Oh, it only bounces two guys, right? Is it non-land? Yeah, maybe that was better. 
Maybe I'm just bad at Magic the Gathering. Oh, that was a great draw. We get to draw twice now? Yes, please. That's where I want to be. Unlimit Why would you go to... You live in Florida. You live in a place where there's actual great Italian restaurants and you go to Olive Garden? Come on, Robert. Robert, Olive Garden is the lowest tier of all the of all the, the chain Italian restaurants. Carrabba's is better. Maggiano's is better. Even Romano's Macaroni Grill is better. You are making me a sad... I do blame the amount of spaghetti I've touched on on my record right now. That is a as a fair assessment. I can't even blame I can't even argue with that. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You guys ready for the death? It's hard to ruin soup by reheating on the microwave. That's a fair. I can't argue with that, I guess. I think we just have six here, because, good lord. Did you play an island? I'm going to assume you don't have this in your hand anymore. Ornithopter. Okay, gain two. Three. Gain three. Okay. I just expect better from, like, dude, as an Italian, Olive Garden is, like, it's bad. It's not good. Oh, my God. 20 never-ending postables? That's insane. How is that even a real thing? Well, that's unfortunate. This guy's doing me a sad right now. That's actually fine. This is great because we can kill your stupid idiot thing. Kill that idiot. How many how many things can we play right now? We have ten cards in hand. Four four mana. So we can go obsession. Actually, the obsession dies. If we just play it on a turn when we, uh... We can also go Saram. I want to put, I want to put bodies on the board. Put the bodies on the board. Yeah, that's fine. We can discard one of our Curious Obsessions. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I shamed you, Robert. I, I didn't mean to Olive Garden shame you, but I do think you made a mistake. And uh, I don't know if they still have this Cogworkers puzzle knot. I assume you do. I don't know. What if they just go beat down? I guess we have enough lifelink to deal with that. We also have a sacred cat in the, in the trash can. They did not combo off and we got to kill the reservoir. I don't know if we're... If they have enough time to kill us. Okay, they did have that. I don't think they have Ornithopter. I'm pretty sure they played that too. I think everything has been played. Here comes Paradox Clock. Come, you guys ready? Or Were of Invention for another either for six. There it is. There it is. That's good. That's good. Our opponent is 1-2, and we are soon... To, and, and you had Paradoxical Outcome. Oh, my God. Why are you the way that you are? Carabas is infinitely better than, uh, than Olive Garden. 
infinitely. <laughs> oh, Astrid, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You guys can do better than Olive Garden. I'm sorry. I love you guys. I, I, I've never been to a Bertucci's. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what a Bertucci's is. All I know is that, uh... Somebody touch my spaghetti! And that's a serious offense where I come from. Man, these two fours are a lot stronger than they were a minute ago. Can we do... Can we go... Oh, we're going to draw like a million cards. I just want to hit a land. I just want one land here. I I can understand. You don't have to... You don't have to apologize. You can be in love with the opponent's deck. I understand. There we go. Nailed it. God, they still have seven cards in their hand. Like, we just don't win this game, right? Like, there's just no way we win. How many dudes do you throw in front of this guy? All of them? Two of them? Seems good. I don't think I've ever had a Bertucci. I don't even know what this means. I don't even know what this conversation we're having is, to be quite honest. What happened? Paradoxical outcome again, huh? Alright, how have you not won this game? I don't understand what's happening. You have 19 cards in your hand. If you don't just windmill slam uh, an Aether Flux Reservoir and kill me, I will be really sad. Uh, they beat their Gideon's Emblem with, I imagine, River's Rebuke, so they just bounce all of your things. We've seen two of them, so they're just going to bounce your Gideon's. I don't understand. You're just replaying all these things? What's going on right now? They have 14 cards. Are we just going to mill them? <laughs> is that our is that our plan now? Are you for real right now? <laughs> Good lord. You have to have at least one more Aether Flux Reservoir in the deck, right? Okay, you're playing things before Aether Flux Reservoir, which makes me wonder if you do. You have 23 cards in your hand? Is there any way you guys can let me know what's happening? Are we dead? We have to be dead, right? I don't understand what's going on. Like, they have to be just trolling, right? Why, like, why waste them this much time? I don't understand. Is your time worth nothing to you? I don't even think they have another paradoxical outcome. <laughs> you got one. What is this? What did you just do? What did you just put on their... Okay, sure. Cool.
All right. This seems fine. Maybe they just have the one and they just use commit to memory to get it back. I mean, letting them waste time. Like, they have... Uh, this is game three. Like, they have uh, um, they have more time than we do. There's no way it's going to take them ten minutes. Oh, my God. Maybe. Just play one spell. There you go. You win. You did it. All right. Good times. We had a good time. Everybody had fun. Everybody played hard. Oh, boy. Oh, I heard like 19 bones pop there. Oh, what's up, time you? <laughs> My God, man! I thought you were just trolling us for a minute. Do you just have like one Aether Flux Reservoir on the deck? Wow, this hand is just terrible. This is not much better, but it's better enough, I guess. I don't know. Okay, that makes sense then. Quizzer, what are, what are you even doing? You're just gonna kill yourself. Yeah. So I figured you were going for memory, and then you had to shuffle it back in to draw it. Deck seems sweet, though. I really like the Immortal Sun edition. Um, I'm going to put this on the bottom. Because I just want lands and things. Double Saram, that's a pretty good... That's basically a mulligan. Because he's legendary. I would imagine... I would hope that Jade Light Tracker... Jade Light Ranger and Tireless Tracker are, are friends IRL. Really? The deck doesn't function without the sun? It, it was kind of a thing before Rivals. I mean, like, not really. It was like a fringe deck, but it was able to do what it, it had to do. Also, yeah, if you have a list, definitely uh, post it for chat if you, if, you, if you wouldn't mind. Well, this is pretty good. So we can go like this. This, this hot gentleman. All right. Seems good. Oh, that's true. You did lose Bone Saw. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, yeah. If you post the link, I'll, I'll repost it. Um, I'm just gonna block here. I don't know what's going on. This is real weird. All right, cool. All right, that's the uh, that's the Aetherflux Reservoir deck. In case you guys are curious, so they had double Fatal Push. That's pretty cool. And by cool, I mean it's not really that cool, but. Oh, yeah, we also get Traveler's Amulet, so that's an interesting addition. Other than that, though, it's pretty much non-Rivals cards. Oh, good, we're playing Abzan Tokens. Like you do. One, two, three, four, five, six. I hit okay, right? Okay, we did it. Yeah, draw a card, obviously. Baffling End, another uh, not great addition to this deck. Or to, uh, against this deck, I should say.
Well, indestructible does not help this. So you can see how dive down is just a better card here. Yeah. Great. Yeah, how did I know about the dive down versus uh versus sheltering light here? Um I think we would have had significantly different games. Like there have been definitely times where this card is useless, but dive down would have been utterly insane, especially because it's a combat trick. I'm almost tempted to get rid of this guy just because I don't want them to start going off with their hidden stockpile. And we have no, it's a token deck. We have no other uses for it. So just get rid of this guy when they can't sacrifice it in response, I guess. Felt like this hand was great. Two Srams, three Auras. At least we get to keep up sheltering light now. Up until the point where they cast out. Again. All right. I don't know what's going on because our opponent isn't doing much. So they're probably just waiting to six. They're probably going to play a six land than Vraska. Kill Baffling in, get a 3-3. Three, three. Fumigate. Oh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can go on the bottom. And we'll also pay four. Not bad. <coughs> All right. Seems good. Sheltering kitty cat. And if we hit a land, you're dead on board, but I assume you're going to have something that stops that from happening. Ah, uh, Always with the cast outs. Sad days. Kitty cats. Okay. No, put your five. Put you to five, and we have four power on board, so. If we hit a land, we can shift at dunes. So we're definitely taking out the baffling end. We're taking out the shh. Sheltering light? This doesn't seem great here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll keep you on top, sure. Gain two. Now you're at five, and we got five on board. What are the odds you have a Raska? 1,000%. Hidden stockpile number two. Okay. That's not a Vraska. Do we just win? Yeah, it's just gonna... Just gonna go for broke here. Yeah, it means you gotta kill. This is a three and this is a two, so that's lethal if you kill this guy. If you kill this guy, this is four and this is two, so you're dead there. So you'd have to have two removal spells for Chef at Dunes. So we'll just do that. Okay. Uh, baffling End, you can come out. I feel like Negates are just better. Fragmentize doesn't do anything, really. Kills a Renegade map, maybe. Slash of Talons doesn't do anything. Snubhorn, I'm not even a big Snubhorn fan. I probably just want another Negate for one of the Snubhorns in the deck.
Yeah, I think that's fine. I don't think we need the life gain here. I think we want the evasion, uh, specifically the flying from Cartouche. This hand seems fine. This guy into this guy. Not... Oh, Frag is good. Yeah, Fragmentize actually kills enchantments too, doesn't it? That is a good point. I don't play enough standard, you see. We're getting in, we're getting back in the habit of playing more standard now. I think I've taken a break from from standard for like a month and a half, so. What does it kill? It kills hidden stockpile and What's the other card they use? I guess it kills cast out too, which is pretty good. But it only gets the guy back. It doesn't actually get the Do I even just play this? I think we have to play this. We have another one, so it's fine. They also have double white. Okay. Seems okay. All right, now you have more than double white. <laughs> well, let's not do that. I was assuming Shram died, actually. That was my in my head. I'm like, oh, he's going to die. We're just going to put it on you. And assume you don't have, like, Path to Exile here. I wonder if we just keep up negate. Anointed procession, that's the card. Okay. Yeah, that's the card I was thinking of. I'm like, where is the One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I feel like it's Vanguard here, and the next turn we keep up Negate. I'm more concerned with negating like a Fumigate. They also renegade map for a land, so maybe they don't have a fourth land? Okay, well. So long, negate. That's actually better, because I'd rather not have negated the, the duress. <laughs> so now we got to play a guy, and they still would have taken it anyway, so. I would not mind another negate. In fact, I would love one. That is not another gate. What do you have for two mana at instant speed?
Yeah, I don't think they have anything for two. I'm just wondering why it's taking so long. I'm not. I don't actually think they have something for two. I'm just like, why are you? Why are we waiting? Why? Why? Why are these responses taking so long? Is really what I'm getting at here. Yeah, I don't know what's going on right now. Of course, now I'm terrified of like over committing into a negate here. Not a negate. Uh, what do you call it? Fumigate. Fumigate. The other gate. Dubs gates. Sure. Oh, kept it on top. All right. Negate. Fumigate incoming. I'm just going to play Cat here. We can uh, make a guy at the end of the turn. I really don't feel like throwing more guys onto the board. The only thing we we would be throwing away is Sky Marcher. I have a feeling they're just going to go land Fumigate. Fatal push. Sure. That is not a land fumigate at all. All right. Good to know. The problem is it doesn't tell us they don't have a fumigate. It just says that they don't have one. Interesting. Yeah, I'll just take one. Yep, sack it, make a dude. Sure. Yeah, hidden stockpile is pretty annoying. We should have definitely brought in fragmentize. Got the city's blessing, so that's nice. That's nice. God, they just block and sack, but I guess that's fine because they don't actually have another guy to replace it, so whatever. Sure. I will pay for. Yep. All right. Card on top, card on bottom. Okay. Sure. Oh my god, there's so many good draws we could have had here and we didn't hit any of them. Oh, well, now we're definitely all inning here. gonna keep making guys here if you want to fumigate like you win i can't beat a fumigate at this point i just have to try to kill you before you go crazy and if you have land you can go sack this make two guys make two of these and then you're in real good shape i think but that's a good card to, to be playing right now oh all right we just win sweet wasn't expecting that, but all right, I'll take it. 2-2. Two, two. Let's see if we can finish this bad boy out with another win. Let's see if we can hit that 3-2 this time instead of the old 1-4-2-3. That's, uh, that's a goal. That's where, we're, that's where we're at right now.
And again, like I think the dive downs would have been a significant difference over the uh, the other card. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> um, sheltering light. But also, I don't think this is a huge uh, tier one metagame choice. I think this is just a kind of cool deck that I wanted to see how it did. And um, yeah, this hand's great. One blue in this hand is great. This hand is good right now. But I think we went 1-1 against Merfolk. Uh, we beat Abzan Tokens, lost to... The Anointed Procession deck. Not the Anointed Procession deck. The uh, either Flux Reservoir deck. So, <laughs> I actually don't know what Brillantine is. I assume it's a hair product of some kind. Oh, I wouldn't say Reservoir is back. We're just playing against it in a league, which doesn't really... It was great. Like, it was fun to watch. Uh, it definitely did cool things, that's for sure. I'll play this guy that can't die. Oh, that's rude. But interesting. Hmm. Well. I'm intrigued. Do you block sheet? I feel like we're just playing against, like, sure. Yep. I feel like we're just playing against the uh, God Pharaoh, Esper Godfarrow's Gift deck, like, just f the, the most tier one deck. Oh, my God, Willie G, what's going on, buddy? I have not seen you in ages. Willie G, my prez. You dropped a link in here the other day? I don't know if I did. I see all the links, so. Show me, uh. I also took a break. I've been taking uh, uh, a little bit of a magic break as well. Oh, a champion of, of, of assurance, if you know what I mean. I also haven't used Twitter for like two months, so. <laughs> oh, dark. Oh, these these guys are good to reanimate. That's cool. I'm a fan. Okay, blue blue mana would be nice here. Does he mean feces? <laughs> What's up, D-Man? Did you drop a picture in the chat while I wasn't streaming? Because that's pretty funny if you did. That's commitment right there. I can appreciate that. I don't know. I'm just getting a little burnt out on magic. Like, it's just not... It's kind of meh. I don't know. Yeah, nobody was here. <laughs> oh my god. What <laughs> What even is this? Oh god. All right, here I want to post I want to post this. Actual footage of Frank building his table shelf. Oh my god, look at that thing. Okay, that's amazing, and I want it in my life now. 
I don't care about this ravenous chupacabra, though. I don't want this thing in anyone's life. Blue mana? Oh my goodness gracious. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the promised land. Oh, that was a good draw. Can we do it again? Oh, we're keeping that up though, I think. I had no idea what to expect. I was like, oh my god, what's happening right now? Okay, it's just a table. It's got some paint cans on it. Oh my god, it was magical. I guess we could have played the Sheltering Light and just... Or we could have played the, the Sky Marcher because this guy's indestructible. I hate you so much, Magic the Gathering. I hate you. I absolutely despise you as a game. The vomit is so real. Now you're going to fatal push? Sure. Please leave. Do not want. All right. We're getting somewhere. That was actually a good draw. Because now we can do one of these jobbies here. Go all in on the SRAM. Draw another card. Yeah, once again, like the, the theme of the stream, the, the stream theme would be that dive down is the superior option. All right, you have two cards. Well, three. Sure. Yeah, you got it. Well, if we had dive down, we would have actually kept up blue mana. <laughs> oh, maybe we didn't have it at that time. But I can also see why... Like, I can also see us adjusting the mana base. I don't know what to do. There's currently four creatures in your graveyard. I actually don't want to put any more creatures in your graveyard, but this guy is going to die if we attack with floaties. So you definitely block here. They have no cards in hand, though. That's pretty good. The problem is if they just if we if we attack with ground guys, they block with flyer and non-flyer. And um, then we're just in bad shape. I'm just going to keep playing lands because this deck actually could use lands. All right, you have one card. Do you have a way to put a guy in a graveyard or are you dead? Oh, we did it. We did it. We are so good at this game, Magic the Gathering. All right. Um, hmm. 
don't think I care about Slash of Talons. I think Negate is pretty good here. Snubhorn Sentry is consistently one of the cards that I just don't want to see. Baffling End actually doesn't hit that many guys we care about. It doesn't hit Chupacabra. It doesn't hit Scarab God. It doesn't hit uh, Hostage Taker. And one of the problems with that is uh, it can hit the stupid tokens, but I really don't want to get to that point. I like Fragmentize, but it only gets rid of the gate to the afterlife. It doesn't actually get rid of God Pharaoh's gift. So it's almost better to just bring in two negates. Is there anything else we care about with Fragmentize? Whatever, I think it's Negate. I also have to assume they're bringing some form of board sweeper in. This hand is rough. All right, what do you guys think? Keeper or Mull? I'm not a fan of it. Yeah, I don't like this hand, especially on the draw. I think this is better. Uh, yeah, we'll keep you. Sure. So now we can go turn two Pouncer, turn three Saram, Obsession if we draw land, which is pretty good. Oh, that's, and that's sad. That was rude. You're right. Why are you the way that you are? I see. Hey, that's pretty good. Sure. Sure. Oh, gate to the afterlife. How nice. Gate to the graveyard life, apparently. Ooh, missing a land drop. I'm a fan. I'm an Adanto fan guard of that. Whatever that means. Hey -o. <laughs> oh, deal. Adanto Vanguards for days. I 
How about a how about another curious obsession that we can like go ceram into curious obsession, attack for seven, and then feel good about our life choices. Sure. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> wow. A bold strategy, Cotton. Four creatures in the graveyard, sure. Well, that's pretty good. That's as good as we're going to get, I think. Make a tiny gentleman. I'm feeling pretty good about my soup choice tonight. Well, at least one of us is. So now we can go SRAM into that guy. This is six creatures if they discard a guy, which they're going to. Yep, of course you do. I think we can actually cycle that. No, we want to play Adorn Pouncer next turn, I guess. That seems fine. I'm going to search with my gate to the afterlife. To the surprise of no one. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Yep. Maybe I just want, I guess, I mean, like, we didn't draw Negate, so we wouldn't have drawn Fragmentize this game either, so. Yeah, 4-4 four, four, Haste, Vigilance, Flying, Lifelink. That's a, that's a real card. And not, not a real card. Yeah, okay, we're just dead here. I had a good time. I don't know about you guys. I'm going to bring in one Fragmentize, just because I... If they hit it, if they hit the gate early and we can kill it, that's cool. I'm okay with that. Well, Sheltering Light was great in game one because we had, uh, oh my god, really? Cool. I'm having a good time. Oh good, I have to resize everything as well, that's my favorite. Can someone define quality for me? <laughs> Preach. <laughs> oh my god. I love the booster pack opening sound. You're like, yeah, there was a booster pack opened. Sure. That's a real thing. This hand is aggressive. That was fun. I had a good time with that.
I think it's actually Adanto Vanguard here. They're both going to deal four with the Cartouchon, but Adanto Vanguard survives a little bit better. Sure, take my one cartouche. Yep. Not a cartouche? No, it's a literal shitbird. I mean, Chad, does the sacred cat have nipples? Because that's how you milk something. I really just wanted my cartouche, that's all. I'm not, I wasn't asking for a lot. Ah, oh, your first Minister of Inquiries, that's interesting. So if we attack with a 2-2, two -two, they can just go block with all... I don't want that guy to die eventually, so we'll just put on the indestructible guy. I'm okay. Like, if they block here, it just dies. If they block here, they... Sure. Then this guy's not milling. If they block here, then I get my cartouche back. So, okay. All good things. Of course, they're just going to play hostage taker and steal this guy but such is life I guess we still have uh, we're still three permanents away from actually having the city's blessing for this guy not to be just a stupid wall so we got a snub horn so GG's opponent GG's. Look at this guy's a little cutie. Like, I'll be honest. Wow, this is a lot of... A lot of guys. You just block with champion minister, right? I see. Sure. Four dudes in your trash can. Up to six dudes in your trash can. So you're just going to go land, gate, kill us, is my guess. Our opponent is 0-1 with this deck? What in the earth, dude? Oh, that's actually not even correct. It says I'm 1-2. Yeah, that's not correct. Nothing here is accurate. It's, I think Magic is a more fun game when you can't accurately predict every single play your opponent makes because the decks are so predictable. Like, I don't know. Me personally, I'm like, hey, if you don't do this exact thing that I predict you're going to do because you have the exact cards for it, um, that seems more fun to me when there's like multiple choices that could be just as good. However, now they just get cards that let them draw four cards. NNY Quick, thank you so much for the sub, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. And now you get to draw four discard too. That's a good that's a good strategy. I I do like drawing lands. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can make Snubby a a three three. That's a so unfortunately, just like we predicted, we did end up going two three. Uh, I don't think this deck is that strong. I think next time we're gonna play a stronger deck. <laughs> Maybe like something with Rekindling Phoenix and Jade Light Ranger, because those are all the rage. Garlic Non is pretty good. I'm a big fan of uh, Paneer Tikka Masala. That's my go-to for for Indian food. There you go, Snubby. Get your do you you do you. Meanwhile, our opponent can just bring back... This guy's just a 4-4 that draws you a card. <laughs> just a, a glorified uh, Phyrexian Rager upgrade. I don't even think this is a combo deck. You're literally just playing this one card and getting a card out of your deck. This is not a combo deck. I am on the East Coast. Oh, it's not even legendary. I love that this card is not legendary. Because why? Why would it be? Yeah, we're dead. Unfortunate. I thought we had a good. I thought we had a good shot because uh, we were uh, playing creatures that had one power and one toughness, and uh, usually that's how you win games of Magic. <laughs> uh, either way, it's nice to know that this deck is not uh, as competitive as it sh it should be. It could be, I guess. I don't know. Really? This is the guy you get out of the graveyard? I guess you want to just kill me and you just get flyers. That makes sense. That's fine. I do not have any... F Why aren't you attacking with other things? That's what I don't understand. You're at 13. You have double God Pharaoh's gift. Like, you're not... I can see why you'd think it was literal cat tribal, but alas, no. I agree with you, Willie G. Cats do have reach. I don't even know if I want to save this guy. Like, what does that do? We go to let we go to nine, and then we're dead to both. Uh, they bring back kite sail freebooter, and. They attack us for eight, nine in the air. Yeah, we're actually dead if we save this guy. There's just no way to win this game. <laughs> like, utterly no way to win this game. Well, it is called God Pharaoh's Gift. It's not God Pharaoh's Gifts. It's only one. It's singular. It's God Pharaoh's Gift. You're just gonna mill yourself just to hit that stupid uh guy. You're really, really desperate for the old, for the old angel of invention. Sure. I like that it's not targeted, so they both go on the stack, and you can actually discard the angel of invention that you draw off your four cards to get back immediately. <laughs> Ask your opponent if they'd like to concede the match. Uh, would you like to concede? I feel like we're equally matched here. I, I'm just curious if you'd like to concede. Okay, that's the end. All right, give me my 40 play points or whatever you get for a 2-3 finish. Yeah, all right, cool. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for uh, hanging out for that. Really appreciate it. Unfortunately, that was not the best showing. Uh, be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed our beating. And we will try to play a little bit more of a competitive deck next time i just this looked fun i wanted to uh i wanted to try it out and see how it went and um it, it did not go as well as i would hoped but we'll see maybe, maybe next time we'll be better and uh thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time